So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our regular programming of the week. And today we're going to be covering Sun in the sixth house of your D10 Dasamsa chart. As in, what happens when Sun is sitting in the sixth house of the D10 Dasamsa, which is known as the chart of obligation to society, which is also pretty much we see all the details of one's career and profession, all the obstacles in there. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular position of the sun, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other logical details, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full logical report, include my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Magami Deke Astrology Academy, due to which I was able to release Meeting Ketu just this past week. So, sun in the sixth house. Sun, as you know, is the soul. It's the soul significator. It is the Atma Karka of the birth chart. Okay? So, each chart has its own Atma Karka. Like Navamsha is Venus. Dasamsha is Saturn. Saptamsha is Sun. I'm, I'm sorry, Saptamsha is Jupiter. Okay? So, with this, what it we see is that a person, soul, okay, the innate soul from the birth chart, is desiring to serve people. One will not find satisfaction within them unless they serve people, unless they take care of the debts of other people. They feel like I have a debt that I want to pay in society. And this particular debt can only be paid when I'm out there serving and taking care of people. This person becomes very obedient in terms of listening and serving. Because as much as Sun is the authority, okay, Sun knows the rules of engagement in terms of, you know, the hierarchy. So this person, when they get a command from a higher king, this king feels like, yes, I am able to also give the orders and they must follow. That means I need to follow the same rules. So such people will be able to execute work will be able to execute, you know, their daily routines to a certain task. But one thing you will also see, these people will develop some kind of OCD at work. OCD about work. For them, unless the work is perfected, they can't leave it. And this, the reason why I'm saying this is because it's, it's due to the fact Saturn aspects the 12th house. I'm um, sorry, Sun aspects the 12th house. So it's the 12th house Sun and the 6th house Sun will do very similar work. They become very anal about, you know, what what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? So funny I use the word anal because uh, today's moon is in Mula Nakshatra and Mula represents the root. I think I should put that as a research in my work, but I just use this word for no apparent reason. I mean, look at this. This is how naturally we use, you know, the imagery of nakshatras in our daily life. And... You will also see with the sun that they will somehow be targeted of office politics or hidden dealings against them. Okay. And this is becomes more, uh, you know, conducive is when the eighth Lord is strong in the chart. That means those hidden dealings becomes stronger against the person. But at the same time, this is the person who most definitely is able to save money and attain wealth. They are able to, they, they accumulate money like a king would. They are like, I need to have this much savings before we spend on this, 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 and this, before I achieve this goal, before I buy this property or this fantasy car, I need to have this much money stored. Like they will run their life like the kingdom. Like we need to have this much gold stored and jewelry stored before we try to expand the kingdom or do something better with the kingdom. And the other thing you will also realize that when your boss, your authority figure gets sick, okay, when they're sick, you will see how you are elevated to a higher status. And when they're also sick, you are somehow able to even pay your debts off. Do that observation. 
see if the last time when the boss wasn't there because they were sick and see what happened. But again, you have to keep accounts of your life. You can't just be like, well, was there maybe? No, you start keeping accounts from here on out. And especially if like your boss says, yeah, today I paid off my debts. Today I paid off my credit card bill. Within six days of him saying that, you will have some benefits coming in your workspace. But main thing you will see that these th this is the person who stands up for other people at work. They'll be the one who will organize something when the management is not doing things for the people. When the executives are not doing something for the people, they will be rising for the people. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of Sun in the 6th house of your Dasamsha chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these videos. And again, if you want to know where your son is placed, all your slot teasers, check out the links here. And also check out Meeting Ketu, which is already out with two different versions. One is a more fixed version. Fixed at it. All right. Bye-bye.